I want people to say, who, who is this guy? That's gonna, you know, put a question mark on their heads and they start finding out for themselves who, who Gaspar is. And once they find out who it is, who, who, he, who he was and who he is, then they're gonna start, you know, understanding more on the history of Bowie High School because Gaspar is part of the history of Bowie High School as well. So in 2014, the Stanley and John Rubin Center um, hosted Ignite, the Artistic and Educational Heritage of Gaspar Henriquez. And we did that because we wanted to celebrate Gaspar not only as an art educator um, at Bowie High School for 33 years, but also as um, an extraordinary artist, professional artist, who's renowned nationally and internationally. And we wanted to celebrate him in our community. Um, additionally, we invited um, some of Gaspar's former students to create a mural um, to be placed at Bowie High School, honoring Gaspar and his legacy. And I think what a better way to um, honor not only him, but future generations of Bowie Bear graduates um, to know not only who he was, but what he did for our community um, and how he represented us um, across the nation. So I'm so happy, Gaspar, that you're receiving this award. It's so well deserved. And I just want to say congratulations, Gaspar. We're so proud that you have represented our community so well and so blessed to have you in it. So what can you say about Gaspar? So many great things. He's respected from our El Paso neighborhoods, including the barrio, all the way to the nation's capital and beyond. If one had to characterize him in one word, that would be it, respect. Gaspar respects everyone around him as witnessed most poignantly through his life's work. His subjects appear tough and may even appear hardened. Perhaps they would be someone you would avoid making eye contact with while passing on the sidewalk. Yet it is through his artwork that we are given an opportunity for a closer inspection. If you study his subjects, you'll see that there's a vulnerability cracking through the shell. Tattoos, hairstyles, makeup, clothing. These are all protect protective shields, protection from our human condition. These subjects, like anyone else, are simply asking for respect. Gaspar has chosen his life's path of cultivating his artistic gifts in order to share them with larger audiences. He, like all artists and his subjects, shares his own vulnerability with his presentations, providing us all an opportunity to appreciate our similarities first and then our differences. Gaspar, we're so proud of you. Congratulations.
get an education to begin with. Because for La Raza, the only way to get out of the barrio, well, it's not the only way, but the best way to get out of the barrio is to get an education. That's my emphasis on students and individuals that I, that I deal with, young individuals. But anyway, I think everybody is going to be influenced or be touched by a teacher. It doesn't make any difference what kind of a teacher you have, but you're going to be touched by a teacher. And when I had my exhibition at the museum, I had a lot of ex-students that came to me, and they were grateful for my input. Not because I taught them art, but because I taught them about life. And they were not artists, but they were engineers, lawyers, and doctors. So all of you have that potential to become very successful in whatever you decide you want to come in. And this mural, I am really proud and I am very humble for the students to have done such a great job for me. Thank you, you guys.